fellow Guyanese. I'm Dr. Shamdi Prasad, and thank you for joining me for today's COVID-19 update. According to the World Health Organization, the global statistics are as follows. In the last 24 hours, the total number of cases have increased to 16,558,289 with 656,093 deaths. In the region of the Americas, the total number of cases is now 8,840,524 with 342,635 deaths. Now for the situational update in Guyana. The total number of tests done is 5,890. The number of persons tested is 4,641, with 4,240 persons being negative. As of the 30th of July, 2020, of the 78 tests done, the number of positive cases is now 401, with 20 COVID-related deaths. The number of active cases in institutional isolation is 196. 50 persons are in institutional quarantine and three persons are in the COVID ICU. To date, 185 persons have recovered. Two new cases today are coming from Region 7 and one case is from the city. Tomorrow, July the 31st, is a national holiday where our Guyanese Muslim brothers and sisters will be celebrating with the Muslim community around the world the festival of Eid al-Adha. The WHO has cautioned countries globally about the safety measures that need to be adopted to prevent the further transmission of the raging coronavirus disease. On a national level, I also wish to state that our Muslim counterparts must be cognizant of the local COVID-19 situation and make the necessary adjustments so that exposure to the virus is nullified. This means that the practice of social distancing must be prioritized and strictly adhered to. No more than 10 persons congregating with visible six feet demarcation and more importantly, alternative arrangements must be in place regarding the distribution of meat to the needy. Similarly, on Saturday, August the 1st, Emancipation Day will be celebrated nationally. The ministry is once again pleading with all to ensure that the COVID guidelines are at the core of these celebrations. You're all aware of the highly contagious nature of this disease and of the continuous increase locally of our cases. Fellow Guyanese, let us not close our eyes to what is happening regarding COVID-19 in the US and even closer to us in neighboring Brazil, which has reported 23,284 new cases and 614 deaths in the last 24 hours. As Dr. Tedros intimated, it's never too late. Even epidemics can be turned around. I'm convinced that together we can flatten the curve with more effort from all of us. In the city, we need to make a behavioral change and respect the health guidelines. In our hotspot regions seven and nine, which remain high risk areas, you need to curtail your cross border movement where exposure to the disease is uncontrollably high and help to halt the import of cases. In our mining communities, the influx of migrants continue to contribute to high incidence of positive cases through their constant movement in and out of the communities. 
As we are about to celebrate over this long weekend, please remember that your health and safety are at risk. Men, just forget your macho attitude. Put on a mask and avoid rubbing shoulders. Six feet apart is a safe distance and the curfew is still in effect. Have a safe, happy and enjoyable weekend. Happy Eid Ada. Happy Emancipation Day.